for the weekend. So let's check it out. We do have more chances for some isolated to widely scattered showers, just like we're seeing out there right now. Here's a look at the satellite and radar image where that warm front has now stalled. It's just to the south of Charlotte, and we're still tracking widely scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms across portions of the Florida Peninsula. We take a live look now at the satellite and radar image in Charlotte or the radar network here. We do have a couple of isolated showers in and around I-77, but most of the action this tonight or heading into the overnight hours has been across portions of Fort Mill getting into Tiga K and a little bit farther towards the east there getting into portions of Union County where we've had some heavier downpours and we've even seen some flashes of lightning farther towards the west there. So this is going to be ongoing and you can see how these are slowly lifting towards the north. So if you're in Gaston County, Cleveland County, even in Lincoln County, it looks like these widely scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms will be lifting farther towards the north. And future cast is kind of painting that out. Here we are around two o'clock in the morning with more isolated to widely scattered activity that slowly starts to dissipate though as we head towards four o'clock in the morning. But then we start to see some redevelopment across the mountains and even portions of the foothills as we push towards the afternoon hours. So we're going to keep the chances for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow between about 20 to 40 percent across our area. And with that extra moisture added to the air, that's going to increase our dew points into the upper 60s. So we'll stay into that sticky to almost tropical category, and that will be the case as we go throughout the entire week. But I do want to point out as the rain chances go down, the temperatures start to heat back up. And here we go again with more isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms for next week. But you notice next weekend, that it's going to be even hotter than it has been over the past three or four days, making it up to 94 by next Saturday and 95 by next Sunday. We're still very warm at this hour. It's 78 in Charlotte, 74 in Statesville, and we've got some lower 70s stretching from Lenore to Hickory and still got some upper 60s in Boone at this hour. So temperature is not going to be falling too far from where they are right now, right around 72 by tomorrow morning in Charlotte. And then our afternoon highs again into the upper 80s with some upper 70s expected across the mountains. Seven day forecast, more of the same with the heat and the humidity. Chances for isolated showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the day tomorrow. We're back into the lower 90s for the entire week and some mid 90s by next weekend. And we'll keep that 20% chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms for Friday right on through next weekend.